Hey, what is up everybody? I'm here with the brand new Tesla Full Self-Driving Beta 11.3.2. This is the new version that's gonna go out to all the existing users and even new users soon. This is the one that's going wide, very exciting. And this first drive with this new build is sponsored by Shop and Ride. Shop and Ride is a company that has a patent on something that I think is going to be huge for self-driving cars. And they wanted me to tell you guys about it, maybe get Tesla or somebody else to license the patent. And this is something that I think is gonna be really, really huge, which is actually connecting self-driving cars to e-commerce and physical retail locations. And I think Tesla could really actually pose a threat to Amazon and a lot of the traditional e-commerce uh, distribution models with this new technology. Um, and you know, Elon just bought Twitter so it could actually tie in hand in hand. I could see Twitter and Tesla actually integrating to provide a lot of these services like advertising to self-driving cars. I mean, Twitter's the big ad network that every company is always, already has a presence there. So why not have that extend into the self-driving cars as well? I would not be surprised to see Elon do something like this. So really all advertisers should be advertising on Twitter um, because they're going to be able to bring these kind of ad products integration with self-driving cars that nobody else is really going to be able to do with a deep integration with Tesla and obviously with Twitter you know you're reaching the most influential people um, but with this technology you could actually have it be location-based advertise to someone at the right time at the right place when they need something maybe they're on a trip and they want to stop or they want to do a curbside pickup on the way a lot of these curbside pickup spots have popped up for um, COVID, uh, touchless curbside pickup. These could integrate right into FSD so that you can order stuff right on the car or on your phone and then have the car come and pick it up. So I have a little mock-up here of how exactly this would work to give you guys an idea. So here's how it would work. So let's say you're browsing Twitter on the car. maybe you're actually driving and browsing Twitter or browsing some other app. Right now, of course, you have to pay attention to FSD beta, so I'm parked. But, okay, so I'm on Twitter and I see an ad taking advantage of our Starbucks Frappuccino Mocha coffee drink. Oh, that looks good, okay. I definitely wanna get that, right? And I can see, okay, oh wow, $3.99, that looks like a pretty good deal. All right, yeah, I'll take that, okay. And now you can see there's a few different options. You can get delivery, Uber Eats, Grubhub, Postmates, but you know, why would I wanna go and pay Uber Eats to pick it up when I can actually just have my Tesla go pick it up for me? So I click on the shop and ride Tesla option and boom. Now I have an order with shop and ride. And it says, okay, you'll arrive in 10 minutes and the order is actually gonna be brought out to the car. And cool, that looks good, let's check out. Cool. And I'll set my payment method. And cool, that should complete the order. And that's it. And now, let's head over, let's go navigate over uh, to, the, uh, to the Starbucks and go pick up our order. So I'll go ahead and engage autopilot and we're off. So this is the brand new build. Let's see how it does. This is gonna be a really challenging drive. So honestly, I'm gonna be very surprised if it makes it without any takeover. So we're in Sausalito for people who know Sausalito. Some of the roads up here in the hills can be pretty crazy. All right, so we're gonna make a left turn. Looks good. Creeping for visibility and nice. Nicely done. Okay. It's raining right now. I'm having the car go super slowly because I'm a little afraid myself. But all seems to be going well here.
pretty amazing how even in the rain, even in bad weather conditions, it can still handle roads like this pretty well. Really weird shaped roads, not your typical sort of straight line roads with lane lines that you'd see from traditional autopilot. There's no uh, lane lines here right now. All right, and up we go. We've got a right turn coming up ahead. And it looks like this lane is blocked, so we'll need to go around the car. And there we go. Okay. Merging onto a street here. Looks like we're good, no cross traffic. All right, very good. We're still alive here. Looking forward to our Starbucks. 10 minutes to go, just like it said. And next we got a left turn coming up onto Spencer Street. This looks kind of challenging. We got a pole star too. They're waving to us to go, but um, the car didn't see the hand gesture. It's going super slowly, annoying everyone. Sorry. Oh, now it's stopping in the middle of the road. Oh, okay. Not the best, but we're alive. So I'll give it credit for that. Okay, this is scary. I'm scared. Oh, there's another Tesla. Oh, okay, not so smooth. But we're alive. All right, let's get out of these hills. Come on. I'm not trying to die today. All right, we got to continue forward. It looks like this is uh, unprotected. They don't have a stop on this road. So we need to make sure nobody's coming and it looks good. So let's continue. All right, we got some pedestrians approaching. Okay, they're motioning to continue. Oh, okay. Oops, that's not good. Okay, so they started walking, then the car started moving, then they stopped again. So kind of confusing situation for the pedestrians there. But nobody was in danger, it was all good. Okay, good negotiation with that UPS truck. The road was a little bit narrow, but it let it go and then it continued. Very good. And we're making our way down these hills of terror now. Oh God, oh God. I'm just like a little afraid because of the rocks and stuff on the side, you know? If it like jerks to the side to get away from that car and then scrapes my wheels or something like that. As always, you know, this is a um, driver assistance system. You need to watch it. It sometimes does weird things like this. I don't think it quite knows where the hell to go, but it figured it out. Perhaps the rain or the hills were confusing it a little bit about that intersection and how to proceed. Okay, I think we're getting down now. We're almost out of the woods. Now we got to make a left turn here onto Bridgeway. And there's some traffic coming. Got to wait for a clear moment. There's a bus coming. Oh, definitely don't drive in front of the bus. Oh, way too close to the bus there in my opinion. Way too close for comfort. Maybe I'll send that to them. Okay, but 
the hard part should be over. So if it got through that, it should be able to get the rest of the way. I hope. Ooh, okay. Yeah, maybe this build isn't so bad after all. I mean, clearly you can see the capabilities of this system are just unbelievable. Um, the number of roads it can handle, the number of traffic scenarios it can handle, even in the rain. It really, you know, people like to say, oh, it's not real self-driving. But I mean, what's more real than this? Okay, you can see it just detected those pedestrians and decided to stop for them. I'm not sure a human driver would have stopped for them, but I think it's good to be cautious. And yeah, you know, rain, weird roads, pedestrians, highways, it can really do it all. You just say where you want to go and and that's it. And that's the really cool thing about shop and ride and what I call the curbside pickup revolution, which is really that you could just be driving, driving home, and you could maybe talk to the car or tap on the screen and say, hey, I want to pick up some Starbucks. And the car could actually go drive to Starbucks, get in the curbside pickup spot, have them come out, bring you your order, and proceed. And you don't have to do anything. Or if it's a Best Buy or a Target order. I mean, so many of these stores have curbside pickup. And you just don't even know that necessarily you're picking it up. If the car gets to a driverless level of reliability, which seems kind of inevitable now, you could just be sitting there on your phone watching a movie or whatever. You might even forget you placed an order, but your car will stop there or even go there by itself driverlessly, pick up the order and then come home. I mean, would you order from Amazon if you could just order something locally and have your car go get it for you within you know a few minutes? This could be a big threat to the traditional e-commerce shipping business model and it could completely change the way we buy things online. And of course, you know, Twitter is a huge, huge place for advertisers to go and promote their businesses, promote their brands. It could play into this really well. Um, for example, when you're searching for something, if I'm searching for a place to go, or even if I just um, ask my car, hey, what's a good place to go for dinner? Twitter could maybe partner with Tesla, give them a little bit of a cut, and help them find those businesses um, that want to advertise there and, uh, you know, maybe, maybe give some suggestions to people, uh, that would be, you know, very helpful. And I think that, um, you know, superchargers as well, right? Going to a supercharger, seeing what options are available there, your car goes, parks in the supercharger, and then you can get your items, whether you bought something or you got some food or whatever it is. So I think really, you know, a lot of people think about self-driving and they think about a robo-taxi, um, an Uber-type ride-sharing service giving rides. But I think really the e-commerce angle could be really maybe as big or bigger than the ride angle. And there really is a lot of different use cases. FSD is really a platform for so many different applications. So here you can see we're about two minutes away from Starbucks right now. I was up there on that crazy hill. I haven't touched anything. I've just been dreaming about my, you know, mocha frappuccino or whatever and focusing on that as I should be while the car focuses on driving. And even with bad weather, bad visibility, all that stuff, not my problem. The car just handles it just fine. So we're really not far away from really being able to pop up apps on the screen. Maybe you could actually integrate with Twitter and say, hey, um, you're actually going here. There's some restaurants or some food. There's a Starbucks on the way. I know you like Starbucks. Do you want to order something? And so it could be very beneficial to both Tesla and Twitter. It could help Twitter make a lot of money, position it as a place where um, you can really go. And I think it saw those people walking on the road and decided to chicken out. That's not good. Yeah, I've noticed this new build has an issue with 
randomly asking people to, uh, randomly asking you to take over. So everything will just be going fine and then it'll sort of say you gotta take over. But you know, it's a, it's a new build, so that's kind of to be expected. Okay, now I'll just pause here and wait for the beta to come back. Okay, and it's back. And you can see that the system will actually um, take you all the way to where you're going. It can handle parking lots. This will be great when actually Smart Summons activated. It's just day and night difference compared to the old Smart Summon. And here we are, we're at the Starbucks drive-thru. And now we can go and just pick up our order. The car could actually drive through automatically or go park in a curbside pickup spot, send the number, and then tell them to bring the order out. So this is the new build, FSD Beta 11. I hope you all get it soon. And thank you so much to our sponsor, Shop and Ride. They've got a patent on this. I think it's gonna be an amazing technology. Um, Gary, who uh, has Shop and Ride uh, in the patent, he's a huge Tesla fan himself. He's got a Tesla with full self-driving beta. So huge thanks to Shop and Ride and uh, thanks for sponsoring and hope everyone gets FSD Beta V11 soon.